My name is Sven Rosius, I'm 21 years old and I'm from Hasselt, Belgium. Well, I, I was always interested in the States and I always had to, I wanted to go there. And now we got the opportunity through my college to go to, uh, to Washington DC, which was a great opportunity because it was like a very interesting city in, 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 the, in, in the States as well with the political stuff and the business stuff. So I checked out the website immediately when we got the announcement and I was, I was immediately ready to go, so yeah. I studied and interned at the Washington Center in Washington, D.C. Um, I interned at Election Mall Technologies, which is a firm that basically does everything um, online-wise for campaigns, uh, political campaigns, and also NGOs. And I was enrolled in a political leadership program at the Washington Center. It was mostly arranged through my university, University of Leuven. Um, and they gave us all the, the links and, and the things we needed to do. And then we got the package from the Washington Center telling us, and the emails telling us what we had to apply for. We needed the motiva motivation letter, the reference letter. So it was basically all, you know, step by step plan, which made it quite easy, the application process. One thing that's important is the motivation letter. <coughs> um, the thing that's especially important is that when you write the essay, that you, of course, you have to you have to uh, have a foundation. You have you have to have good sources and stuff. But don't hesitate to put your own opinion in there, because uh, in our education system here, um, it's not as much opinion as what they used to in America. So they really want you to have an opinion. So I would say don't hesitate and really put an opinion in there and just just go for it. Yeah, I I I did take the TOEFL test. Um, I went to Duisburg in Germany for that. Um, I did a little bit of preparation in that the TOEFL website is a good website where you can download some free questions of every part of the test because it's a, it's a writing part, it's a speaking part, etc. So I think um, I think for most students at universities in Belgium, they don't have to be afraid of the test because our English standards is, are, are good. I talked with someone of TOEFL there and they said that Belgium scored the second best on the TOEFL test, so uh, don't worry about that one. Just be sure that you know what kind of questions you're going to get and you can find all that information on the website. Studying in, in the United States is, is pretty expensive, especially when you compare it to what we have to pay here uh, to study. So I wouldn't be, wouldn't be able to have done it without the grant I received from the Flemish community. Um, so I got that one, um, which covered most of my expenses for uh, housing and my program at the Washington Center. There was a, a, f a few, I mean, there, were, there was more money needed for the program at a whole, as a whole, but uh, without the grant, I, I would never have been able to do it. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Flemish community. <laughs> well, there, there were many highlights of my, of my, my four month stay there. Um, I think on a professional level in my, in my program, I did a, I did, my class was in presidential campaigns. Um, and in one class, the second one, my professor Steve Scully from C-SPAN had invited Jared Rashoon, which was the media director of Jimmy Carter in 1976 in his campaign. And all of a sudden he asked a question uh, to Rashoon, and then he said, you might as well ask this question to Mr. Jimmy Carter himself. And then the former president was on, was on the phone in our studio, so he, we were able to ask him questions, which was, I think, a great experience. I'll, I'll always remember that one. And of course, it's, it's amazing to live in a, in a building, we call it the RAF, the Residential and Academic Facilities, where there are 300 people, 300 young people, who are there in DC with the same set of mind, the same you know, attitude to, to, to living in DC, and, and to be able to, you know, on a day-to-day -to -day basis, live with people from everywhere. I made a lot of friends there, and I'm sure that even though they live in America, in Australia, in South Korea, in Canada, in Mexico, I'll see them again, and that's, that's, that's a great thing, I, I think. That's a difficult one. I think um, what it did change is that DC is, is a city where everything is possible as long as you try and, and get out there and do it. So it was, for me as a Belgian, it was a step to do that and, and go out there and just shoot people emails or, or just give them a call when you, you know, want to talk to them or 
because they've been in your position once. They've been an intern or they've been young and in, in, in un at university. So I would say I, what I learned from my, my, my further academic and professional careers is to just step up a notch and try, and that, that can get you a long way. Washington DC is, is an amazing city, but you only get out of it what you put in. So everything's possible as long as you try. So don't hesitate, go for it and enjoy it to the fullest. Um, Washington DC is a fantastic city. Um, je krijgt, je krijgt er alleen maar uit wat je erin stopt. Dus um, alles is mogelijk, maar je moet ervoor gaan. Dus niet twijfelen, gewoon doen en blijven genieten.